I'm a perfect beauty and I don't care what you say Ain't no boss but few more makeup gonna make me that way She said I'm just gonna be me She said I'm a perfect beauty Hey guys, so I know there's a tag going around It's like the top 12 products of 2012 But instead of doing that tag I just really wanted to talk about the products that I think are holy grail status Products that if you are starting with a makeup collection that you must have Products that are not dupable of any kind or sort and so I'm gonna get on with that right now Not a sponsored video. No one's paying me to say any of this So you can trust my opinions a hundred percent the products I put in this little container One of my favorite absolute products are the Maybelline color tattoos and my favorite is in the color too cool because it can double as a highlighter or as an eyeshadow base so it's just a really just a white cream shadow kind of thing that you just put on underneath your um, eyeshadow or as a base and it works really well for cut crease tutorials because you don't need to use a white shadow you can just use this underneath it works really well for highlighting like down the middle of your nose or on the sides of your cheekbones and it's about eight dollars for this product so it's cheaper than a MAC paint pot which is I think twice the price um, they come in a lot of different colors but I really like the white one and it does stay on it does last all day it's just a really really great product so I highly recommend this Maybelline color tattoo in too cool the elf studio fix brush and the studio fix powder brush this is the softest brush it's made out of synthetic material bristles it's just super super soft and it's just amazing I love this brush so so much um yeah, I just love it so, so much. Um, it's super soft and you can use it to apply blush, apply highlighter, blush, apply bronzer, bronzer, or just like buff in foundation with it, liquid foundation, powder foundation, powders. Really, really all multi-purpose brush. It's only three bucks at the drugstore or at Target or online or on Amazon. And I probably have five of these brushes. I don't know, every time I go to Target, I pick one up because I'm too lazy to wash brushes so I might as well have like a different brush for every single different product since they're so cheap instead of having to wash them over and over and over again. My favorite brush line is Crown Brushes. I guess like my favorite would be like a MAC but I think Crown Brushes do an amazing fantastic job. Amazing, amazing fantastic job. So these are just some examples of Crown Brushes and this is one of their brushes. It is a like, like highlighting brush. And the reason why I love crown brushes is because they come with all different, like, basically you get a roll of, I think, 40 brushes and a brush kit. And they come with all different brushes, big and small. None of them shed. They're all, I think, synthetic. I don't know. They might not be synthetic. But they're all, like, super, like, non-sheddable, which I love because I hate getting bristles on my face. They work really well. I love the long handles they have. I do not like short handled brushes. I know MAC makes like travel size brushes. Sigma does too. I don't like that. I don't know. I like it too long. Okay, okay. Like for example, this brush is an eyeshadow brush, but it's also really great as using it as a highlight and contour brush. So this is kind of what I contoured with today. And I contoured my face, which is why I look a little bit different. Um, it just works really well. This is like just, you know, they're brush, blush brush, their um, angled bronzer blush, you know, their like highlighter brush, like their brushes are just so amazing, such great quality for I think $40, um, just amazing, amazing quality brushes, love crown brushes to death, I do not think they are, I think they are definitely underhyped on YouTube, I don't know why people don't rave about them more, but they're really, really, really amazing. Another brush and this is the Sigma flat top kabuki brush this is a more like dense and softer version of the elf studio fix brush definitely think these two are different enough to get both of them um, but this one is a lot more dense and it's a lot more flat top so you can really really buff things and it works super well for MAC mineralized skin finishes which I'm going to talk about later but it just works really well blending into the skin gives you a really nice finish works well within fix plus or any kind of kind of water or liquid to really buff into things buff things into the skin amazing amazing quality it doesn't ever shed it's synthetic it's so soft 
go get it. This is Sigma's like number one selling brush, so go get it. Speaking of MAC Mineral Life Skin Finishes, I think the best product that MAC makes, and MAC is one of my favorite makeup brands. MAC and Revlon and Milani, I would say, are probably some of my favorite makeup brands. And I think MAC MSFs are not dupable. I have tried so many different MAC products or MAC dupable products, but I find that MSFs are just really just blows everything out in the water. So if you can only get one thing from MAC, definitely try out their MSFs. So MAC has MSFs Naturals and MSFs just like their blushes. These are the natural powders. I have them in medium plus and medium dark. And what they are just like normal like like face powders, right? Um, the thing I don't like about them is that there is, I feel like a lot of people are between medium plus and medium dark and they don't have a color in between, so I have to get two of them, but that's not that big of a problem, I guess, because um, you can use it to contour. So all you got to do is use a flat top Sigma Kabuki. After you put on some concealer, after you put on your liquid foundation, sweep it in here and just buff it into the skin and you get this amazing radiant glow. I love it. It just makes your skin look mineralized, like... Like it just, it just gives a nice sheen to the skin. It's a sheen, it's not a shimmer, it's not a glitter. You're not gonna look like a disco ball, but it does give you a nice sheen to the face. So that way in the light or at different angles, your face looks like it glows. Um, amazing product, I will forever repurchase these. Like their MSF blushes or whatever kind of face colors are really amazing. I absolutely adore Soft and Gentle. It is the best highlighting color ever. I'm wearing it right now. I wear it all the time on my face. You guys always compliment me whenever I have this on because it is the best highlighting you can have. And this is MAC MSF and Refined. And again, this is the best highlight you can have. So this, they have bronzers, they have different colors, they have blushes in this. It just gives you a nice sheen to the skin. It's a sheen. It's very, very, like, I, the way that MAC incorporates the shimmer onto the powder, onto your skin, creates a really beautiful glow to the skin that I find really no other company has been close to duping. So, yeah, definitely worth the $20 or $30 these are. The Benefit Pore Professional. I did a whole review on this product, um, but basically what it does is it helps fill in the holes around your nose and around your skin. And I just find that I am so addicted to this product. I use it every single day, even when I'm not wearing makeup. I just like to put a little bit around my nose because I don't want to look like I don't know. I don't want to look like I don't want to look like I have holes in my nose. So this is a fabulous product for that. Um, it is kind of expensive. I think it's like $35. So it's pretty expensive, but I haven't found a comparable primer that really helps cover up your pores. It just kind of fills out those holes so you don't feel so self-conscious about like open pores floating around. Um, so yeah, I really like that for that reason. The Buxom Lip Glosses. Um, I think Bare Minerals did a fantastic job with their lip products. And the reason why is because I love the minty feel of them. They're just really great consistency. They... I just love the scent. It's like a vanilla mint. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Love the consistency. It's not too sticky. It's not like petroleum jelly. It has good pigmentation for those like just everyday lip glosses. Like just put it on, you're good to go. Gives you a little bit of color. But I absolutely love the minty feel of these glosses that I haven't found anywhere else. And I also love the vanilla scent. And I'm a huge scent freak. So love these glosses they're actually pretty expensive i think they're 18 or 20 dollars i'm not exactly sure because these are the sample sizes that sephora gave out but i do have one of the full size of the actual lipstick products and i just love that tingly feeling you get um so for a lip gloss i'm not really willing to spend like 20 dollars for a lip gloss um, unless it gives me this kind of feeling and sensation that this one does i've got a feeling Ooh. That tonight's gonna be a tingling mouth. Okay, that sounds weird. The product is our um, are the um, Wet n Wild lip liners. I have them in every single color available, and I'm wearing actually the one in chestnut right now. But these lip liners are fantastic and amazing and just incredible. 
They are 69 cents, 99 cents, definitely under a dollar. They're super pigmented and super soft, which I love. I love super pigmented and super soft things, especially for your lips. You don't want like hard lip liners because it's going to crack and break all over your mouth. So I really, really like these products. Super cheap. I don't know why they're not more hyped up on YouTube. I know the Wet n Wild eyeshadow palettes are super hyped up, but these definitely need to be hyped up as well. It needs to be in the hype club. Can't I be hyped? I want to be in the hype club. I am so lonely. The Wet n Wild lip liners is that they don't have enough colors. They have like four shades or five shades. So I really like the Jordana Easy Liner for lips. They're super pigmented. They come in a variety of shades. They're super soft. I love, again, soft and pigmented colors because they glide on so easily on your lips. They're just really, really amazing and fabulous. And oh my god, my boobs look humongous. How did this happen? Wow, thank you Victoria's Secret for giving girl with no boobs some boob action going on. Okay, yeah, so it just does that. I really like it comes in a variety of different colors, so it's fantastic. Go get it. Product is the Milani Brow Kit, and I absolutely love this product. It is one of the best products out there. Why? Okay, first, the packaging is incredible. You get three colors, right? And you also get tweezers, a brush, an, like an eyeliner brush, eyebrow brush and a sponge tip applicator and then also a mirror so you just have so much stuff you can do here and I also love this because of the color and you get a highlight color a matte brown color and a darker matte brown color so that you can use for anything you can use it for your brows you can use it for your eyes you can use it for contouring I use this palette for contouring not for brows for contouring I use it to contour my nose and to contour my eyes it's amazing the colors are great it's under 10 bucks it has all the tools you need, super great. Definitely, this is what you need to carry on when you put it in your travel makeup bag or in just your everyday makeup bag because it's such a versatile product. I love how there's a highlight color because you definitely need to highlight. Highlighting, I think, is such an underrated but really important part of makeup because it just makes your face glow without making it look like you're wearing makeup, you know? Um, and then the matte light brown color is really good just for eyeshadows and the dark color is good for, you know, just the outer corners or the crease or whatever. This is an amazing product. Go get it. My product by Milani is the Milani Eye Tech Extreme Liquid Eyeliner. I am in love with this eyeliner. It is a very fine tint point and for Asian girls out there, it is so easy to use when you don't got big eyelids. So for, I guess, like Caucasian girls or non-monolid girls, um, it's not so much of a problem if your eyeliner doesn't dry right away because there's a fold that will hold up your eyes so that way the, the eyeliner can dry. Well, for me, my fold hits that crease right away, so a lot of times eyeliners won't stay put or they will smudge or crease together because of the fold. This offers just enough product so that way it dries fast enough so that way the monolid won't like crease up. I know it's really hard to explain, but you girls with monolids probably understand what I mean. I can even do a demo. So like let's say this is my eye and um, this is the product and basically what you can do is you just kind of are able to press in the liner onto the corners of the eye and stroke it out and I just you can also kind of press it in and it offers just Feel your 
body rock Yeah, 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 take a bow You're on the hottest ticket now Yeah, we gonna party like it's 3012 tonight I wanna show you all the finer things in life So just forget about the